Okay, so we're going to take a few minutes and just talk about general camera anatomy. You know, when I walk up to this camera, I see a lot of buttons and switches and dials and knobs. And this is pretty intimidating. So when I'm thinking about a volunteer walking up to a camera for the first time, I think it's important for them to have an idea of what the terms are, what the actual pieces and parts of what they're looking at are and what they do. So talk us through that. Yeah, well, first off, I think you're so right. It's it's hard as a director to talk to a camera op, especially if that camera op's a volunteer. And I'm trying to give some instruction about, hey, check this X, Y, Z piece of gear. And if they don't know what that is, it's just, it just gets very frustrating. Things take longer. Um, and so it's, it's, if we can all get on the same page about the different parts of the camera, the, the language, the lingo, then everybody's job's gonna be way easier. So um, yeah, so we've got a couple of different options of cameras here, which we can talk about later, but basically every camera has you know, the same components, right? So this is just the camera body. Um, this one over here actually has a lens attached to it, so you know, the lens will go on the front. Um, but your camera body is where all the electronics for the, the, the camera are. The sensor is inside the camera body. The sensor is what actually receives the light coming in, translates that into a video signal. Um, all the processing that yeah, takes that information and then translate it out to HDMI or SDI or fiber or whatever your actual camera does. Um, and then on the front is where you always attach your lens. And so there's a mount on the front of the camera. And depending on what kind of camera you have, um, the, the mount could be different, right? So um, but that's basically it. And a lot of times you have a handle on the top. Um, sometimes there's a shoulder rig built in on the bottom so you can wear it on your shoulder. Uh, and then the back side is where you've got a bunch of buttons and knobs and I.O., um, depending on what kind of camera you have. But those are the basic parts. It's really just, you know, it's a housing that houses, houses a little computer that has a sensor in it. And that sensor is what does all the work. And then all the, the computing happens to give you a video signal. Okay, so this camera has the same body, but lots of other accessories. So when you walk up to the camera, you're going to experience something more like this fully built out. Right. So talk to me about everything else we're seeing here. Sure. So, yeah, this is just the body. This is all the GAC accessories, lenses that actually make the camera function, right? So um, on the front, slide this over, you've got the lens like we talked about, right? Um, and then here's the mount, just like there's a mount on this camera. This is a different kind of mount, but the lens attaches to that. Uh, there's a whole bunch of components on the lens that we can talk about later, like this grip. There's lens, uh, there's servos that control the focus and zoom and iris and all that. In order to operate a camera, you have to be able to see what the image is, right? So every camera has a viewfinder. Um, so on this one here, you've got a viewfinder, which is just another external monitor. Uh, and then this, this is like a control monitor on the back that could also be a viewfinder. And some might have an eyepiece that you would right. actually look into that would show you what's going yeah, into they the would It would kind of live lens. exactly where this is, and you would put your eye right up to it. That's called an EVF, electronic viewfinder. Um, and that helps you, just a different way to operate it, gets the camera closer to your body, you can get steadier shots that way sometimes. Okay, so there's a big attachment on the back of this right. one. So this guy here, so this, this first camera was an ENG camera. This camera is a cinema camera. And so with cinema cameras, they're made to be way more modular. And so when we start bringing cinema cameras into a live production environment, we kind of want some of the features that are on the ENG camera. So that's what the back here uh, provides for us. It gets all the signal in and out of the camera. It uh, can add comm, it can add tally lights, it can add uh, remote control and networking and all those kind of, kind of control room um, things that we miss in cinema cameras. But gotcha. yeah, it's all the same. It's, it's just another way of doing IO that's built into this camera. I would, I would add, it's really important as a volunteer to like understand these components because when you walk up to your camera, the person before you might have had this screen in a different place. Right. They might have had these different parts and pieces in a different place that and you may want it differently. It's so understanding I like yep. some people are like, hey, I can't see my viewfinder. I'm like, well, you can move it. Right. You know, like, okay. So it was set up differently. So that's why it's important to understand, like, what is all these things that are hanging off? What can I control and not control? And I'd like to put my stuff. camera on the front row so I can just pick it up and move it, right? Right, right. <laughs> no, probably not. 